And Australia is facing a contamination crisis after people in every state in the country have reported finding needles concealed within containers of strawberries. But consumers aren't the only ones affected. Hugh Remington from our partners at Network 10 Australia has more. It would break a berry grower's heart. Tons of perfectly good strawberries being dumped because of a heartless scare campaign. The motive behind these things is unclear. You know, who puts needles and pins into into strawberries, knowing that's going to go to family and, 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 and young kids. What started in Queensland has spread nationwide. Needles and similar sharp metals have been found in fruit now in every state. At the moment, we haven't uh, any confirmed suspects. We haven't had any confirmed demands, really. Uh, end of the day, it's an uh, act of treachery on the community of New South Wales and across the nation. Hundreds of workers have been laid off as some growers cut their losses. Strawberry industry has been desperately hurt by this exercise this week. At stake is a half billion dollar industry and our export reputation. My government is immediately today committing one million dollars to help strawberry growers and industry stay on their feet. Health authorities say strawberries are still safe to eat if you're careful. Strawberries are great to eat, but at the moment just cut them up and have a good look before you eat them or you give them to someone else to eat. Metals have been found not just in dozens of strawberries, but in an apple and a banana. Police say it's certain some of it is the work of copycats. But whatever the motivation, they say anyone convicted of contaminating food faces potentially 10 years in jail. A social media campaign, hashtag smash a straw, has sprung up to support the industry. Make some scones with jam, throw a strawberry into your champagne during the footy on the weekend. Please hang in there with us. Um, and I think our saying will be cut it up, don't cut us out. But police say it's a miracle no one has yet been seriously injured. They say they will take anonymous tips as they search for the culprits. For CBSN, I'm Hugh Rimmington in Sydney.